What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new WWE Supercard video. So before we start off the video, let's go ahead and shout out the brand new legends who have subscribed to the channel. So a big thank you to all these legends over here. Thank you guys so, so much for everything. Welcome to the family. Thank you guys so much for subscribing and being on the list of legends. And we also have that little list right over here of some other people who have also subscribed so a big thank you to all those people do you want to be on the next list of legends all you need to do is subscribe to the channel make sure your youtube account is public and you will be on the next list of legends so thank you guys so so much for the continuing support as we're on the road to 20k we're about 250 subscribers away from 20k don't know what I'm gonna do for 20k yet. I know a lot of people are asking me. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Uh, I gotta figure something out though. So I will do my best. Now, let me also get into saying something else. A good friend of mine named Jay Barley, he uh, is a YouTuber. He came to me and told me he wanted to do a, a giveaway for you guys for a QR code Roman Reigns Becky Lynch. And I agreed to, you know, help him out with this, promote it for him. So I'm going to go ahead and promote it. So Jay is giving away a QR code, Becky Lynch, Roman Range, to a uh, very late. All you need to do is go subscribe to his channel, which, and then uh, you got to go to Twitter. Because we're doing this on Twitter to avoid any possible duplicate scams and stuff like that. So we're doing this on Twitter. All you need to do is subscribe to his channel. You don't even have to subscribe to me. All you need to do is subscribe to his channel and post on Twitter why you want the QR code. That's it. The winner will be announced tomorrow, I believe. So uh, link in the description to that giveaway. Follow all the rules there and you'll have an opportunity. Like again, you don't have to be subscribed to me in order to win. It's just for my boy Jay. So big shout out to Jay. Good luck to the winner. Uh, thanks again, Jay, for letting me be able to promote this giveaway for you. Again, YouTube does not sponsor this giveaway. It's coming from Jay, 100%. So good luck to all you guys who do enter and... Uh, Good luck. All right, WWE Supercard. Where to start with this shit? Uh, <laughs> first things first. Flash Giants Unleashed is here. Now uh, we don't know how this is gonna go down, but as you can clearly see, they have lost the plot tremendously. Uh, I didn't mind the hammer quest. Like, uh, there's going to be a hammer on the heroic side for the WrestleMania card. So we knew there was going to be a WrestleMania card on the heroic side because it's going to be gear, which is a special gear. So people were hoping that the solo side would have something amazing. And then we get Triple H of Easter Egg or Easter Event Triple H. Now, I know a lot of people are thinking, Ed, why would people be mad about this? Well, it's quite simple. Unless you got him from the quest, which I can tell you right now, many people did not get this from the quest. If you got this from the quest, this is a pro. It's not the most amazing pro in the world. It is weaker by a lot compared to like Kevin Nash and Scott Hall. So, yeah, overall, this card is just not the greatest card. It's like a money in the bank in a way sort of that. So it's nothing crazy. The problem is, is you can't get this pro unless you got it in the quest or if you buy it. Now, I, that's where the problem comes into play. So now we go to the store. And as you can see, pay to win is here. And it's going to cost you anywhere from about 10 to 20,000 credits to get a pro of this card. It's going to cost you anywhere from 20 to 40K to get an F1. And then an extra, an, add an extra 10, 20K every single time. I would say average-wise, it's going to cost you 15K average to get a card of this. Unless you get really lucky. Again, hiding behind the paywall. It's ridiculous. Supercard is losing the plot. I don't understand. What are they trying to do? It's dumb. Like, we got NWO cards for 6K, and this is costing us 15K. And they're worse cards. It makes no sense why. We should even bother going for this. You guys should just save your money, go for the WrestleMania 36 25th anniversary of Triple H, which will probably even be cheaper and way better than this card. It is dumb. Or spend all the money that you put on this into LMS, you get a purple card that would force that this and win by like 100K more. 
It is stupid to keep going for these stupid cards. Pay to win needs to freaking pay to fucking go already. It is dumb. I don't understand why Supercard keeps going down this route. It is stupid. Get rid of it. I fucking hate it. And if, as long as you guys don't buy these, they will eventually listen. Like, these need to be 100 credits each to do, I would say. I think JB was right on target with the money. 100 credits to do this because it is stupidly expensive for such a weak card. Get rid of it, God Daddy. There's other ways to make money. Do it do it the other way. Spend 30-40k to get an F3. Do it the other way. But this way it's just it's just so stupid. Because I, I tell you right now, it's, I already know I probably I'm pretty sure one person already got the F3. And you know what? I'm actually gonna search that person right now. Because I feel like he's this guy's probably like the one on hackers as many people. I'm assuming Macho Warrior already has it. Oh wait, why am I looking at teams? Alright. I know I gotta follow more players, I know. Uh, Macho Warrior is what I'm believing. Macho Warrior. I stand corrected. F3 Triple H. Look how weak that card is. Now, point blank. This guy does not have momentum because he cheats the game. He doesn't play the game. All he does is buy the cards in the pack store. And that's it. He doesn't get any momentum. He's the worst player in this game. One of the worst represent, represent, representations of what... It is. So look at these stats, but no momentum. They are fucking horrendous, man, for an F3. Just skip it. Just skip it. Learn from this dumbass. But he probably hacked the game. He probably didn't pay for any of this crap. But this guy is a piece of crap. This guy sucks. No momentum on any of his cards. He doesn't even have an F3 Scott Hall. Trash. Screw this guy. But anyways, guys, uh, that, would, that would do it for my little rant. <laughs> Avoid it. It's just dumb. Enjoy Giants Unleashed. I'll be streaming it tomorrow as always. Uh, also, I've been getting requests. Ed, are you going to do the poor man's road to glory? Because every other YouTuber out there has done it. Whether it was for, for fun, for views, for YouTube growing. Who cares? A lot of YouTubers are doing it. <laughs> and people are asking me, am I going to go down that route? I might go down that route. However, if I do it, I'm going to do it my way. Which, honestly, is going to be the most stupidest way possible. I'm still thinking about how I want to do it. I have an idea of how I want to do it. But I'm still debating it. And uh, I don't know some of you trolls out there who don't like me at all saying, Oh, you're going to be copying guy. You're going to be copying this. We're supercar content creators, alright? People do the same shit on YouTube, okay? I'm the one that was doing ring domination reveals. A long time ago. Now everyone does it, okay? Am I here complaining about it? No, because we're supercar content creators. And we have to show what people who are subscribed to us the content we provide. So if you're going to whine and cry, just shut up and fuck off. <laughs> That'll do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys tomorrow for some Giants Unleashed. Make sure to go check the link in the description or in the comments to enter the giveaway for the QR code. Thanks again to Jay's as well. We'll see you on the next episode. Take care. Have a good one. Peace out.